seeing the contestants. Um, I'm Kaylin. <laughs> yeah, I'm Bookworm. I'm a D class. I don't know much. Uh, <laughs> that's an interesting name there, contestant. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm Dr. Drago. I guess I'm a big class. And, and um, then we have midgets as well as I guess I've been told. Yeah, yep, definitely. <laughs> what about the Oh, yes, what was it? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Alright. Well, welcome to a glorious show once more. And it's to see a new person this time. And, of course, one they couldn't escape. But don't worry. You might be able to escape this time. If you're lucky. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and just like last time, only two lives. So be careful. So, I guess you're ready for you guys to get started? I guess. Yeah. Alright. Over with quickly. Alright. For the first door is a symbol of a bowl. Second door, symbol of a closet. That's door three, a symbol of peanut butter. Door four, symbol of a father. Door five, symbol of water. And door six, symbol of a clock. Mm. It, I Which feel good about peanut butter. All right. As soon as you see mm -hmm. that, you are pushed into the door with peanut butter. Oh, peanut butter. Peanut butter. <laughs> So does everyone go through the peanut butter door? Um, since there's... I'm gonna... Can you tell us the doors again? Yes, well, I guess of course I can. Contestant. <laughs> it is door one is bowl, door two is closet, door three is peanut butter, door four is father, Door five is water. Door six is clock. Okay. I don't feel good about the father one at all. Mm -hmm. Remember, the first area only has one dangerous SCP. Mm -hmm. So I think the bowl might be okay. Mm -hmm. The water could be bad. Also be good. Mm -hmm. Honestly, my father is a one that. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. Uh, um, because I think, like, wasn't there a closet one from that I that I think I that I remember being encountering previously, and that wasn't wasn't that. All bad? I don't remember. I know there's a closet that's bad. There might be a closet that's bad, yeah. The, the, these I think were supposed to not be ones we know. Okay. From other games, so. Hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. So, last two contestants, which door would you like to go through? You first book. Alright, um... I think I'll pick clock, just to not be... Uh, not put all of us behind one door. Contestant Booker was forced into the clock room. Alright, last contestant, okay. which room would you like to go through? I'll go to the bowl. Yes. And the last one was thrown into the ballroom. Now, <laughs> let's see all 
of your face. Mm. As for ones who've chosen peanut butter, both Karen and Midget is going into the room of SCP-5960. Basically, peanut butter is just, well, <laughs> moisturizer. <laughs> Did I literally choose the only bad one? Not at all. This is a safe one. Well, um... Now... I do not feel reassured. Now, let's go to the clock room. <laughs> Bookworm has gone into... SCP-914, oh. a.k.a. the Clockwork Machine. <laughs> what does it do? Basically, you can either worsen down things or make things twice as better. Hmm. Oh. Interesting. I mean, it, it, it doesn't really have an effect, though, I guess, right now, right? That is correct. Okay. Now, for a contestant, Dr. Drago. <laughs> you went to SCP-330. Uh. Okay, take no more than two, please. Okay, I'll take two, then. Alright. Now, let's see your points. Can we see the where what the other ones are were? Why of the course, doors? if you wish. Door two was SCP-025. A safe closet until you put the clothes on, in which case then we can commit suicide. <laughs> and finally, for the final room, SCP-2316, oh wait, second the final room, <laughs> the body's in the water. <laughs> okay. And the room you thought was so dangerous, it's actually very sad. SCP-1976. Basically, it's an SCP that makes you forget your own father's existence, and that that person right there is your father, even though they can never wake up from a comfortable state. <laughs> now, for our points. Midget got very lucky with a 12. Ooh, not looking for Karen once more. <laughs> oh my. What did I get? You got four. Damn it! Why? And Brooklyn is not falling that far behind. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you got a six. <laughs> okay, can I give Keelan three of my points? Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to roll the die. Hmm. If, if you get most even, I'll allow you to give two points. If not... Okay. Nothing happens. Okay. How many points do I have? You have 12. I'll keep a note of that. It's completely even. No points were given. Okay. Now, it's for everyone's favorite time. <laughs> Mini game time. So now, put in 
the name of the person you wish to vote. Where do we put? In the game chat, but do not send it until I say so. Okay. Can we put ourselves? You can if you wish, but you might get okay. it. Yeah, I'll just do it. Alright, and the mini game is choice. You have to choose between two SCP lives. You could save them both okay. or end them. Ooh, I'm fine with this game. So. Alright, send your vote. Ooh. Yeah. It looks like Dr. Drago is the minority. Wait, what? And say you admit it. They will vote. Wait. Be the ones going wait, to what? the game. Oh, Can't wait. Can't get any votes. <laughs> oh, I thought that you were supposed to vote the, uh, the vote minority for who goes. is the one who plays me, not the majority. Oh, oh. shit, then it's Keelan. No. Oh, well, because technically Keelan has no votes. Oh, yes, um, it would be Keelan. Yeah. You ready, Karen? Sure. <laughs> we could have made this a team building exercise if we all voted it ourselves. You know, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. You have three buttons. And there's two SCPs. One is SCP-999, and the other is SCP-650, the Starling Statue. They're both safe in their own right. Choose correctly, and you can get double the points. Mm. And they're both sitting upon a pool of dangerous green acid. There's, there's a button that has a symbol of a cage. There's a button that has a symbol of electricity. And then the final one is a symbol of a bridge. Which one do you choose? Hmm. SCP what and what? SCP-999 and SCP-650, the startling statue. They're both the same. Hmm. And what are you hearing to make the choice with no help? <laughs> so which huh, button so do you I... choose? So there's bridge electricity in a cage? Yes. Huh. I'm gonna go with the electricity. You immediately press the electricity switch. In doing so, it completely shuts off the acid pool. The button that was a bridge would drop both. The button that was a cage would save 99, but drop 650. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Now, Let's so see what bonus points you oh. get. So I was successful? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I get double points? Yes. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Probably my first and only success of this entire game. Well, you did successfully go now, into the uh it looks like Karen might not be able to play Vegas for a while if resident tests are wise. Besides their new points. Wait, how many points did I get? You got 14. Ooh! Yay! Now, everybody ready for the next doors? <laughs> Let's do this. Alright. 
The word one is a symbol of a drawing. The word two is a symbol of a gift. The word three is a symbol of a man. The word four is a symbol of something you find in grape and plants. The word five is a symbol of an anchor. The word six is a symbol of a plant. Okay, so there's anchor, plant. I don't know what the symbol of great annoyance is. There's man, there's a gift of them, and there's uh, a drawing. What was the first one? A drawing, okay. Hmm. Oh, I have no idea. I'm not sorry either. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you want this. this is... Only one of these is the ones you've met before. <laughs> and yes, there are two dangerous ones, not one. Okay. So the one we met before could have been a bad one or a good one. Hmm? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take all the time you need. I would think the I... symbol of a gift is just trying to lure you in. Yeah. E. The symbol uh, of a man, kind of, eh, for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm not quite sure about the plant either. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, just like the plant could be really bad. Oh, yeah. It could be that, yeah. So, I I think we should do the draw. No clue what it is, but... Um... So there's the drawing, and then there's... And then... So, can you repeat them again? Yes. Door one is a symbol of a drawing. Door two is a symbol of a gift. Door three is a symbol of a man. Door four is a symbol of something you find in great annoyance. Door five is a symbol of an anchor. Door six is a symbol of a plant. Okay, so anchor. I have no idea what the great annoyance is. So, I think it's an unknown danger that we shouldn't mess with. Mm. We don't know, and we probably shouldn't go for it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Thing is, I barely know anything about SCP, so like I'm kind of Dang. relying on you guys. I know just enough to know that I know nothing. <laughs> Same. Best kind of philosopher. So there's. I think drawing is hmm. just a hunch. Is that the one you wish to go through, contestant midget? <laughs> Sir. Alright. Okay. Contestant midget was okay. shoved through the drawing door. Okay, since one of these is one we know, and from the ones we know, it seems like none of them so like from based on the things the ones that we know are not good ones for the like uh pictures sh uh, shown um i'd say not going through the man and not going through the
plant one would be good. Um, so who would like be next to choose one of my great fantastic doors? Fantastic is an overstatement. <laughs> oh, hush you, contestant. Yeah. I'll just fucking choose the anchor. I'll go with the Durna. The Durna anchor was first thrust into the anchor room door. All right, final contestant. Okay, this is all down for me. Hmm. So, like, from everything we've said, I'm I'm almost thinking that the something you find in Great Annoyance is phrased in a way to, like, make Huge. us not want to choose it, but, like... But it's it probably might... a good thing. Yeah, but it could be safe. But I don't know. Mm -hmm. Wanna try it, book? Yeah, let's do it. You are thrust into the final room door. <laughs> Let's decide to see your final fates through this area. Okay. And for a first contestant, made it through the drawing door, if I remember correctly. How much do I get murdered? You got SCP-085, aka Cassie, the sentient drawing. Oh. <laughs> now, I am going to say this. <laughs> Two of your friends did not have a very fortunate fate. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, what's the anchor? Okay. SCP, you went through SCP 3332, basically, an anchor out of random tiles will fall from the sky. And completely flattened and smushed. And there is, um, Dr. Fragos and Kira's cats all over the place. <laughs> you both lose one of your two lives. Okay. I had a good feeling. Can we see the other ones? Well, and now, this is, is me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, after. Your, your area. With his great annoyance, SCP-1370, basically a robot who thinks he can take over the world, even though he can easily be knocked over. Oh. You and can't you take know. over the world, robot. No, can't stop it. <laughs> now, the show you for which you did not go through. Since you seem to be liking that. And door two was SCP-348, a gift from Dad. Basically, after you eat anything that's in this bowl, a message from your father would be in the bowl. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. And for a one that, that you did get correct is dangerous, and the one you know before. SCP-076, a.k.a. Abel. Thought it was that one. And for a final one, the one you thought was so dangerous, is SCP-504. Basically, a bunch of tomatoes are fly at high speeds if you say a bad joke in front of them. <laughs> oh, well, oh, actually... So, so don't say any jokes. That's, yeah. uh... It is a good thing I, I didn't go into that room then, alright. <laughs> I don't think I could do that myself. <laughs> and now, it's everyone's favorite time again. Put your face, put your face down below into the comments. <laughs> Oops, 
This game is arcade. <laughs> you remember that now? Now, release your votes. Oh my. Oh. oh look for him. It's me. Yeah, it's you. Yeah. You get to choose the sheet for this mini game. And remember, you went to this mini game once before. Yeah, I forgot. So, I will give you a choice. <laughs> you can either oh. lose a life and get shot repeatedly, or you can use Tucker Machine to bring back two, they bring back the lives of Dr. Drago and Kieran. I mean, oh. No. Yes, here. So, which would you like to choose? Oh, that just makes it more confusing because it's like bring back their lives, but in exchange, this puppy. Oh, gosh, what a trolley problem! Or I can just <laughs> take the hit. Don't you guys love this meetings? <laughs> Yeah, oh my goodness, yes, it's great. I like honestly, like like it hurts, but on the other hand, I love like how it was made though. Like what a good mm. thing. Mm. We're actually going with this. So the puppy's eyes or your friends. Mm. All right, so I'm going to work this out verbally. So if I hurt the puppy, I don't know how much pain the puppy would go through, but I would assume be enough to probably kill it. Um, but then it's a good thing because uh, two people gain a life back and I don't lose a life. So it's roughly three, three to one maybe versus if I get the hit. Uh, I lose a life. Nothing happens to the other two people, and but the puppy stays okay. At least until someone who's vindictive comes along. Uh, oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> um. So that's minus one. <sighs> I, hmm. you know, Laffy, I think I might have to pick the same choice I picked last time, which is I'm going to get shocked and lose a life. <laughs> As you were thrown into the electric chamber, shots of electricity immediately shot through your head and blew into bits. <laughs> Bookworm loses a life. Yes. You're an idiot. <laughs> oh, it is my favorite time of the game show. It's where you all get a timer. Because this is completely with a wide spread of SCP-610. If you don't make it out in five minutes, well, <laughs> you die permanently. Okay. Even if you have two lives. Okay. I'll read you, the, read you the choices, and the timer starts. And door one is a symbol of an insect. Door two is a symbol of Disney. Door three is a symbol of a bean. Door four is a symbol of a pill. Door five is a symbol of sweets. Door six is a symbol of a bell. And the timing starts. Starts now. Not gonna lie, okay. Disney kind of sounds like a trap. Sounds yeah. like one of those in Ikea situations, like 
something that's mm-hmm. usually nice and happy, but it's fucking weird as shit. It's mm-hmm. not yeah. sound right or so there's, so there's three in this one, so there's a 50-50 chance that we would choose the wrong one. Um I'm I'm just gonna walk into the one with sweets. Okay. <laughs> Midget was forced into the sleeper door. Can you re- repeat them again, just so we can make sure? Of course. Alright. Door one was a symbol of an insect. Door two was a symbol of Disney. Door three was a symbol of Bean. Door four is a symbol of a pill. Door five is a symbol of sweets. And door six is a symbol of a bell. Okay, so I don't think an insect one we should go through. Um, Four minutes remaining. How many of these do we know? Probably just one. You only know one. Okay. So I'm pretty sure I know which one it is. Disneyland related SCPs are three minutes remaining. Okay. Hmm. Do you guys want to go through this sweet door with Midget? Um. Sure. Hmm. Or do you do you feel like there's a better one? I mean, I don't know if anything better, um, so, uh, I don't know. I don't trust the Disneyland one. Yeah. The, the insect one is 100% a bad one to go through. Mm-hmm. Well, probably, I'll just say 99%. Yeah. Um, I, 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 so, I, I I'm not sure, but I'm almost thinking the beam doesn't seem that bad, though. I mean, it, it could be turned against me, I guess. I don't know. I'll, um, I'll go with the candy one. Yeah, I'll follow as well. Alright. You went through the doors within three minutes and twenty-seven seconds. <laughs> that show you your fate. You went into SCP eight seven one. Now I just have a question. Would you like to have a piece of the cake? Mm. I'm good, thanks. No. I don't trust it. Mm. Might take a crumb. Oh no, don't, 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 is the... Uh, I don't think so. I'm not really hungry. Well, since we're from being fully eat it, just tasting it, nothing bad happened. But okay. if anyone did taste it, well, let's just say <laughs> a cake could have came out of the stomach if you catch my drift. <laughs> oh. Because oh. <laughs> 871 is still for getting cake. A tier class of CP. Oh. So wait, so if you eat it, it just like keeps replicating inside you? You can hear, well, here on the show it will. 
But in reality, it'll just create, it'll be just like a Hydra. It'll just create the next one, another one right next to it. Oh. Hmm. Uh, I thought it would be like, if I cut a piece and just move it aside, well, like, uh, it like, f- f- uh, fell back up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Would you like to see what which ones you've missed? Because I know you like to see the other area. Yeah, let's see that. Yes, right. please. Door door one. Nobody remember. It's SCV one four nine. The blood flies. Mm-hmm. Yep. Good call. <laughs> For the new ones. The Disney one, which is Karen was correct, is a dangerous one. It's SCP-3640, an area that contains hostile Disney-like creatures. Oh no. That's terrifying. Those pictures on the very left is the only one that really uh, <laughs> and now for the next one, in door 30, is SCP-343, a.k.a. God. <laughs> and he is safe, so you don't have to worry about it. Oh. And the door you could have gone to to save some of your friends' lives, SCP-500. You could have gained another life. (laughs) 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 Well, oh well. Didn't take the pill, y'all. You should have listened to the Matrix. And for the last one, is SCV-662. It is a a butler's handbell. When shaking, a person named Mr. Bees will come out and try to fulfill your request as best as he can. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> you know, so we actually time. chose... Yes, you chose a heater, but since you chose hmm. not to eat it, you're safe. Hmm. Hoping I was gonna die. <laughs> you could have chosen to eat it, Richard. Yeah. Well, no, I didn't want me to die. I wanted everyone. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized I need to double the points that are given because I forgot a, a round of points. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, I apologize for that mistake. Hmm. It looks like it seems to be different this time. Karen seems to be the lead. Hey. You're in the lead, Keith, yeah. so far. Oh! Gonna last long. <laughs> so is 24 my total points or is it your total points? Yes. Yeah, it's your total points. Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. Oh, right. uh, you must have rolled really well then. Yeah, for, for the last one. Well, it seems to be very well tied. Oh shit, we're tied. It's all, yeah. all 24? Wow. Yes, and of course, it's everyone's favorite time again. Uh. Put your votes in the comments. <laughs> and I've already chosen the game. 
and I will announce it once everyone's ready. Okay. Is everyone ready? I guess. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm ready. Gary, then first. Yay! Oh. All right. Your meeting is fight. Me and Dr. Draco. Yeah, yeah. And Draco. Oh, yeah. Oh yes, and Dragon as well. You'll be doing a tag team fight. Let's go. What are we now doing? I will roll to see which each of your points is. Ooh, that's not so good. Oh no. no. Midget has gotten SCP-001, the prototype, as an opponent. Oh my. Ooh, not that great again, either. It seems you have the prototypes plundering in the mix. Oh my. Two prototypes. Now let's see if the dies are in your favor for your weapon. Yeah, it's not bad, but it won't help. You were both given assault rifles. Oh my. <laughs> and in doing so, the assault rifles only just bounced off the protest bodies and mutilated both them. Dr. Drago and Midget. Dr. Drago is fully dead. Hmm. Midget has one life. Oh, wait, that's right, because we only have two lives. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, I have one life. Well. I wish you to put a random name in the comments for no reason at all. Just pick one. Pick one out of the group. All right? And all right, you don't pick one. Okay. Alright. Now I'm just waiting for curing and bookworm. Yeah. Mm. Alright. Whatever, yeah. Alright, the majority is picked. What does book have to do? Well, I'm sorry to say, the cure is no longer in the lead. Oh. Oh my. What? Oh, I guess it oh. just doubled my points. Yeah. Oh, wait, you, or... You know, this one is so much better. I mean, Dr. Carter. No! And now you are at all their points. <laughs> okay. And... <laughs> At least I'm still alive. Yeah. So I, maybe I, I could help Bookworm though. I was yeah. pretty sure that everyone else had one point other than me. Yeah. But now you're ready for a second to final set of doors. I guess. Alright. Door one, a symbol of a bear. Door two, symbol of something you, you see as a truth teller. Door three is a symbol of a whale. Door four is a symbol of a bag. Door five is a symbol of, of a cousin you recognize. Door six is a symbol of a deer. I'm going to go with the uh, truth teller. I'll also go with the truth teller. I was going to say, Truth Teller does give me some good vibes, I don't know. Hmm. Let me commune with the spirit of Aderna that I absorb. Aderna! <laughs> Draga! I need your guidance! <laughs> okay. I will allow it, but with Bookworm. Yeah, everyone else can not hear Yeah, we already- I already win. <laughs> yeah. My- 
but whenever I decide something, I, I just stick with it. I don't change. Is so the dark dragon can Dr. the dragon help help their murdered body? <laughs> Hey, Blue, can you ask what they were again? Okay, yeah. Uh, what were the, the, the um, choices again? Door one is bear. Door two is truth teller. Door three is symbol of whale. Door four is symbol of egg. Door five is symbol of fuzzy you recognize. Door six is symbol of a deer. So there's only two good ones. So I'd mm -hmm. say probably the truth teller is... The best option without like knowing what they are. Okay. Yeah. Then I guess I'll go into the truth telador as well. Now, this is the point where I know I ask a book for a little question. Since everyone went through the same door, would you like to cast spirit protection? Sure. All right. <laughs> it's a good idea you did. Oh my. Are we all dead? Please say we're all dead. In door, in door two, you went into SCP-1504. Basically, whatever you believe he says is the truth. Normally, if you all went in, he would tell you all to die. But, oh. because Book went in spirit protection, I dare not always sacrifice a second time. Oh no! <laughs> That's okay. And now, I'll always be in my memory. I'll live for you. And now, Book One's points were decreased once more. Uh, Did you like, die or no? No one died because Dr. Drago was sacrificed once more. <laughs> Had to yeah. die a second time. I like double death. <laughs> Would you like to see what you missed? No. Mm. Let's go. Sure. The thing is, the thing is, I know you probably thought Simba from Bayer was something you recognized, but it wasn't. This is SCP-2295. Basically, Bayer is just like 049, but actually helps you. Hmm. It's a medical bear. Aww. They bring someone back from the dead. No, but oh, you yeah. fly over the body. Oh, okay. So cute. And as for door three, is SCP-169, a.k.a. Leviathan. Oh, my. Okay. I'd punch it. <laughs> <laughs> and as for door four, I'm pretty sure you recognize this one, at least it's some of you. It's SCP-1689, a.k.a. The Infinite Bag of Potatoes. Again. Yes. <laughs> you know, one of these times we're going to pick the bag thinking it's the potatoes, and then it's going to be like, actually, it's not. And then we're going to be God. And then a bag is going to be on your head forever, and you're going to suffocate for the rest of your life. And mm -hmm. it tends to slip people up, which... You know, Johnny, this is why we had to not talk anymore, because, oh my goodness, Johnny. Listen, 
I've killed too many cousin Johnnies in my family, okay? <laughs> and as for final door, it is SCP-2845. The deer, a godlike entity that can basically, well, erase you from existence if it wished by just destroying all matter in your body. Well then. Now, Seems like none of these are good. <laughs> and now, for a final minigame. Alright. Put your bones down below. And, and let me know when you're all ready. I am ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Alright, once everyone is ready, send them. <laughs> well, this is a strange. Well, now, Adarna has to pick which of these three has to be voted for. Um, Wait, why? Wait, I think it's just actually, I want you to do the two. They have to choose two, since it's a three way tie. Unless no, it's, it's you, Mitch. That was Mitch. Oh, I yeah. didn't see it. I'm sorry. I'm All right. Midget, I'm not sure if you're really good at this game. Well, I don't know. The game is stealth. Oh. Well, Can't that. Oh my. Let's roll the die and see if you get lucky. I'm I'm a rogue, so I have a plus fourteen to stealth. <laughs> and I get to roll with advantage. I use inspiration. Here we go. Here's where you'll be going through. You'll be going through SCP nine three nine's area. They're, it's true they're very blind, but they can hear very well. Oh, before I forget, due to your rice bowl, uh, uh, die, die roll, you will now be forced to wear chainmail armor. Oh my. Oh my. Have fun. As Midget was thrown into there, all the nine three nine swarmed at them and, and tore them apart. Midget oh, is fully dead. Uh oh. Mm, may, I, may I? I have a question. May I absorb the life out of one of my other teammates? <laughs> no. Oh no. But hold on. Bookworm, Kieran, vote. Alright. What? Just vote. Just pick a name of this the two. Two of us who are alive. Alright, can I press send or should we wait? Alright, you can send. Fuck. <laughs> Alrighty. This is not looking for you, Booker. Not at all. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Well, since I have to do points anyway, might as well is see what points you've both gotten. Since, well, <laughs> Midget and Dr. Dragon will get them. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Whoa! All those points. And... Alright. Now, due to this is the last area, spirit protection, 
is it allowed? Not that I'd ever use it anyway. <laughs> I'm not a nice spirit. <laughs> Durna was the only nice one. <laughs> well, this time, you're going to have to put your intellect to the test. I hope you know card games very well. Because all you'll be given is the suits and an oddity. The oddity oh, can right. either help you or harm you. <laughs> uh. Door one is a king of hearts. Door two is a king of spades. Door three is the joker. Door four is a queen of spades. Door five is the queen of hearts. And door six is the ten of hearts. Mm. Now, since Karen has a soul of midget, they can speak to midget. Only they can hear them. Oh. However, unlike Adurna, Midget will just give you the wrong answer. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Uh, uh, definitely listen to me. Go through Joker. Just trust me. Just... Wait, do go through Joker or don't? Do. Definitely. <laughs> I was also <clears throat> Joker because you think that like just it don't would don't as I'm okay with telling you what what to do and I'll help you just uh don't tell Bookworm about it I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really like him. That's wow. fair. <laughs> so is the Joker Dory the one you wish, Kieran? Uh, I'll go through Joker. Alright, final contestant. Which door do you choose? Hmm. Well, so you didn't... Hmm. So it's the one oddity, and the Joker's the obvious oddity, but... Is that good or bad? Good or bad? That's the question. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'll I think I'll pick this could sound weird, but I, I might pick ten of hearts because all the others are face cards but that's a number. Is that your final decision? Yeah. Alright. Let's see your face. Can I just say something real fast? Why, of course, dead ghosts. The only thing that I died to was not the rooms themselves, it was the mini games. <laughs> Alright. And for the fate of the Joker room, the one that could be really bad or very helpful. It is SCP 789 J, the Bird Ghost, the safe class SCP. Oh, book. Oh. <laughs> Yay. Yay for Keelan. Keelan won. Now, let's see the fate of Bookworm. Now, if I recall, this is one of Bright's favorite SCPs. SCP-354, the Blood Pond. It, it harbors a bunch of creatures that are extremely hostile, which go through and start tearing them apart and feasting upon Bookworm's body. Bookworm loses. Well, that was fun. Yep. Can, can we all possess Keelan and just start hey. yelling at her? <laughs> but then as I die... You know, you have so many souls of the dead people. Instead of just keeping a contestant here, I'll let you go. Yay! I mean, yeah, you got our deaths. 
And Wait, Kieran, was set, Kieran was set free. Oh, it said that I win. Yep. You have won. Oh, <laughs> Is there anything else you, you, any of you would like to say to the contestants who are watching this yeah. fabulous show? not expecting that. The fuck? <laughs> These arcade games suck. Never play them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah if you had the chance don't play them if you ha do have the chance uh always save the puppy murder the puppy <laughs> save the two lives okay. is that all everyone wishes to say dead and alive contestants <laughs> Also, right. go go subscribe to the great Doctor Bright. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that too. Uh, yeah, I also just want to say, I because I think as I die, I just say, Aderna, I'm sorry, I failed you. I said I would live for you, but I didn't. <laughs> That's okay. See, Keelan, I'd never steer you wrong. The rest <laughs> of them, I would definitely. Yeah, one hundred percent. Now, in this great show, in three, two, one.